I've been on a roll the last few months testing out probably about a dozen different vacuums, mops, and floor cleaners. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and I recently got the chance to test out a type of cleaner that was new to me. The Tyneco Floor One S5 has arrived in my test kitchen. I'll tell you what this device is made to do, what it works well for and what it doesn't, how well it cleans and if I think it might be a valuable gadget for your home. An early heads up if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful to please mash that like button and do give me a sub. Both those things help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there gets to watch, enjoy and learn from. So what is the Tyneco Floor One S5 all about? This is a wet dry stick vac and mop with some unique features that set it apart. The S5 has a plush roller on the bottom that will help it pull in and suck up dirt, debris and wet messes while wiping up the floor surface too. The device comes with a docking station that will keep it charged and handy. The S5 is adjustable. You can make the handle longer or shorter and you can use it easily no matter how tall or short you are. The mop and vacuum head has limited swivel steering and a fairly comfortable round hand grip. If you're comparing, the S5 improves on Tyneco's S3 version with updated soft brush rollers, larger water tanks, and the addition of an LCD display. Something called the iLoop sensor also means the S5 here can adjust power cycles to provide longer battery time. The updated brush head has also been redesigned to handle corners and baseboard areas better, getting in a bit closer than before. To use this device, you'll fill a small water tank with fresh water, and the tank looks kind of tiny, but the truth is this device isn't using a lot of water and doesn't need it. The added bonus of using only so much water is that the floor dries faster too. The Tyneco S5 will clean with just water or water and a cleaning solution, and you only need about half an ounce or a bottle cap full of solution to boost your clean. Depending on which option you choose, you do need to choose the mode you're using. Um, the device will start in solution mode. It's called solution mode by default, um, but you can switch to water only mode by long pressing the auto max button, which looks like a bunch of dots for about three seconds. On the other side is a dirty water receptacle, and that's where all your dirty floor water is going to go until you empty it. When you turn it on, you'll notice it will pull. This device is powered and it doesn't take much work from you to clean deeply. With most messes, a single pass scrubbed up the dirt, including things like muddy, dried dog paw prints. When you've finished cleaning, you'll want to empty the dirty water tank. It's a really good gauge of how dirty your floors were. A built-in pet hair strainer in the dirty water bin is designed to make hair removal quick and easy so it doesn't clog your plumbing, and I found it worked pretty well. Worth pointing out, you really should empty the dirty water bin right away to avoid a lingering funky stink. The roller cover will also remove with a click and should be rinsed off too. And with the cover off, you can also slide the roller brush off and give it a rinse and remove any tangled hairs or fibers. A spare roller brush, by the way, is also handily included in the box. When it's emptied and rinsed, you can return the Floor One S5 to its docking station, which both charges it as well as performs a self-cleaning cycle when you hit a button. It will automatically let you know when it needs a self-cleaning cycle to keep dirt from building up on the inside, since it can auto-detect dirt and build up. A voice prompt will tell you to begin a cleaning cycle by pressing the self-clean button, which has a water droplet on it if you're looking for it. A full self-cleaning cycle will take about two minutes. The vacuum uses something called an iLoop smart sensor that Tyneco claims will detect where dirt and debris are on the floor. As you move the vacuum across your space, it's supposed to show you where you need to concentrate your efforts. If the LED light on the screen is red, it's seeing more dirt, so you should make a few more passes here. If it's blue, it's not so bad. The S5 will also automatically adjust water and detergent flow, giving you more solution to clean those bigger messes. I have to confess, I didn't really notice this feature at work. Particularly when I attacked a dried on red wine stain, the lights didn't change at all for me. So I don't know how much it's seeing dirt, but even so, it does a good job at powering it right off the floor. The S5's display screen will also show you any alerts and the remaining battery level, as well as if your water tanks need refilling. When it comes to the noise level, the Tyneco S5 isn't super loud given all that's going on, but it is a bit on the noisy side. On a full charge, the Floor One S5 should give you about 35 minutes of cordless running time. It will automatically optimize its power usage, saving the battery for areas where it senses the vacuum needs to work harder, according to Tyneco. 
Let's get to the important stuff here. How well does this device clean? I tried it out in various at-home situations. I used it simply as a vacuum and on all my vacuums, I try it out on things like finer flour, spills like rice or oats and bigger debris like crackers. While the vacuum does pick it all up, it does kind of form a wet mess inside the dirty water tank and the internal filter gets full quickly. With that said, it does do a good job of keeping debris from the water. When it came to the floor mopping capabilities, I was able to try it out on muddy paw prints as you saw and damp fall dirt. Here the Tyneco S5 really shines. Unlike some mopping robots that simply run a cloth once over the surface, here the spinning brushes underneath power dried messes off the floor. It's actually pretty impressive. I used the S5 on tile and on hardwood and it did a great job on both and I didn't find that it left the floors too damp or too streaky either. Overall, I feel this device is best suited for use as a powerful mop, but it also does pick up dirt you'd otherwise need to vacuum up first, so it is versatile. I'm really happy with how this floor cleaner performs overall. It powers dried on dirt from both my tile and my hardwood floors, and I love the versatility of the wet dry performance here since it means I don't need to worry about vacuuming first, then mopping. Downsides. Well, it is not quite as maneuverable as some of the other stick vacuums and mops I've tried, and the internal debris filter is small, so it does struggle to clean up bigger, lumpier messes. Um, I also wasn't seeing that dirt detect light feature working, but since it cleaned everything really well, I don't know if the lights are really adding anything pertinent. Overall, the Tyneco S5 works very well and I like using it since it gives the floors in my dual pet home a good thorough cleaning. I can definitely recommend the Tyneco Floor 1 S5 for your hardwood floors and your tile floors, all your hard floors. It sells for about 499 US dollars, which I think is about 629 these days Canadian, and you can get it from Amazon. If you want to read this review or reference any of what I've talked about here, head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've got a full write-up posted. There you can ask me any questions you might have about this device. You can also post them here in comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always catch me through Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.